All right, a little comparison here. On the left, we have the Soundcore Select Pro. On the right, we have the Zealot S67. Kind of a controversial speaker because I know some people have said they really like it, which I'm surprised due to the distortion. But we're gonna do a comparison. The Soundcore is in its custom EQ via the app, the Soundcore app. I'll let you see what I'm rocking there. That's the custom EQ I'm using. And the Zella is in its EQ1, which I think is really the only one that's worth a crapola. The other two are not very good. So we're going to start it at 40%. Let me back this song up and we'll stay on this song. We're on the sound core. Mr. Hands on the job. Zealot. That's 40%, so. It's louder at 40%. Select Pro. So you can tell just how much louder that Zell it is. S67. Way louder. Let's go up to 60%. Still on the Zealot. And you start to get some distortion. Select Pro. That's sixty percent. More controlled for sure, but not as loud. S sixty seven. Pro. The Zealous actually louder too than the custom EQ that I'm using. The Zealous a little bit, almost too too bright. Zealot. Go to eighty. Still on the Zella, 80%. It's loud, but man, it's getting really distorted. Select Pro. Back this up a little bit. So at 80%, you can tell the Select Pro is a lot more controlled. It has some full bass. It's not struggling with the bass. S67. That's just getting messy sounding. You got a lot of sibilance, a lot of in the treble and distortion with the bass also it's loud i'll give it that it's loud but man it just does not sound good whereas the sound core is a little on the warmer side but it's more balanced and then the, the bass is fuller it's a it has a fuller sound to it a little bit and it's more controlled obviously so let's change tracks and we'll stay at 80 percent Ooh, this will be a good one Zealot. You hear that bad distortion. Select Pro. Get along. The notion that I shouldn't be sorry for myself every time. 
vocals are a little more recessed with this EQ. They're not as forward as they are in the Zealot. S67. Up to 100%. Select Pro. Now pause that. Now with that Select Pro, if you want to go in and adjust, like I said, here was here's the EQ that I'm currently using. And I'll bump up the upper mids. See if that brings out the vocals a little more. Adjusted that. And we'll see what that did. Brought the vocals a little more forward. S67. Yeah, that distortion though. Ooh. Change tracks, still in the zealot. We're going with flow. This is not going to be good. This is going to be ugly. Oh, oh. Select pro. And you see this, you hear the select pro is struggling a little bit with this and it's not hitting that low the zealot sounds like it's trying to hit lower but it's just select pro it's more controlled that's 67 yeah it doesn't go the Volume scaling is a little off on the Zealot. Like you can be at a very low volume, and that's like that's 13% right there, and it's still you can hear it pretty good. But between 80% and 100%, there's not a lot of difference. So it's kind of a wonky scaling to the volume, but it's loud. I'll give it that. If people like loud, if they don't care what the <laughs> what the sound quality is like, if you just want loud, but I don't think that's gonna last very long as a speaker. It's a cheap speaker. I've heard one guy said that the passive radiator caps blew off of them or something, but it does get pretty active when the bass is going. It's just uncontrolled, unrefined. Like I said, it's too sharp in the highs when you get, especially up in the higher volume. And it tries to do too much. It tries to do more than it really is capable of. So apparently Zealot didn't do any kind of DSP on this speaker at all they just threw it on there and said let's go with it so if you're gonna buy this you really need to adjust with a third-party EQ adjust the bass down and the, and the treble to a certain degree to get the sound decent otherwise it's just gonna sound like a m mismatch of too much bass and too much treble whereas the Soundcore Select Pro it's more balanced it's not as loud but it has a more a ref, more refined sound and you have that app where you can adjust it to your taste like if you want to increase the treble a little bit and it will get distorted if you push too much bass on it it will distort so you have to kind of watch it so let me know what you guys think of the two i know there'll be some mixed comments but i still i still stand by what i've stated before that that zealot is not a good speaker and not something i would recommend the sound core select pro i think it's it's worth a buy the price on it kind of varies so again let me know what you guys think and like and subscribe hope the you guys enjoyed this i, I hadn't really compared that zealot up against anything other than the w king x10 last year so i want to give you guys a little something else to uh check it out with it's a wrap guys mr hand thanks for helping out although you're kind of lazy dude's been spending all his time in the pool hall trying to pick up women he supposedly got married. I don't know what's going on with him. Later, guys. <laughs>